So uh, today I'm going to try and do just a little bit of JNA stuff. Um, so uh, JNA is um, Java Native Access. It basically allows you to have uh, access to DLLs on Windows uh, or uh, SO files or, or whatever li dynamic libraries on a uh, machine like in this case uh, Windows so there's a DLL called um, um, user32 and um, user32 has a, um, a lot of things in it but, um, and so uh, you know first of all there's this um, DLL called user32.dll but um, inside this user32.dll is a function that I'm very interested in at the moment and that is called uh, send keys and what I can do with that is um, send uh, keys as if somebody typed it on a keyboard so inside here there's a function called send keys okay so um inside this dll so um w what i really the, the reason why i want to do this is i have a problem i have this um, application um over here and um i have uh, connected to this machine um where this uh, uh, user 32 dll lives at many pieces of hardware so I have a hardware one and a hardware two and a hardware three, but each one of these is in a different language and a different implementation of how you get the value from that piece of hardware. And I'm talking pin pad readers and scanners here. So um, you know, with when you're gonna go type in your pin on this piece of hardware or scan uh, 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 something on this hardware. Um, it really converts that into a um, ultimately w only thing I'm really interested in is the the raw text value. You know, if you're going to type in your pin on this machine, I want to know you typed in one two three four. You know, so that's really all I'm interested in. But the problem that I sit with is that on a machine, each one of these pieces of hardware has their own way of talking to them. So there's projects that deal with it. Um, uh, um, and, but you know my programming language of toys at the moment is Java so I thought uh, hey how can I um, you know get all these pieces of a hardware um, into this app uh, um, through a single interface I, you know without having to write for each piece of hardware uh, tomorrow I want to add hardware number four and I don't want to go rewrite a whole lot of stuff inside this app to talk to hardware number four I just want to make a change you know and something over here what makes it worse is this app is, uh, um, comes from a you know it's 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 a it's a web app it's not something that natively even runs on the box so f even for this uh, um, uh, um, web app to get access um, to um, this uh, DLL um, and and these hardware is not easy because um, you know some vendors of hardware implement applets, others implement ActiveXs, other OCXs. There's all sorts of stuff, and others don't even provide anything web, so you can't even get to the hardware. So the idea was, well, if I can get to the hardware. Uh, um, through its own specific way and I can get uh, from all of these I can get the text value so in its own specific way for each one of these then once I got the text value my idea was uh, to use send keys and have send keys type it in for me into the web app so um, so that way, uh, um, I'm I'm using this platform specific at the moment, uh, user32.dll, to type something into my web app. But at the same time, I'm I'm I've got the opportunity then to write a piece of code here. So 
the ultimate thing then is, you know, the, the web apps isn't changing. It has a single interface into this thing who talks to each pieces of his hardware. So on this thing, I ended up creating just a small, a small little web server uh, in Java. So it sits over there. This web app calls to it. It reads all of this kind of uh, information over here. And then it calls back to um, it calls back to um, the um, the actual um, uh, uh, it, it it goes back to the application and types the value that I've read from a hardware. So that was the challenge. I, you know, I wanted to see if I could hack through that and and make that work. So uh, you know, um, again, here's the JNA libraries you can download them and that gives you the access so um, then um, you know here's the little HTTP server I created and that's fairly simple it's just a single threaded HTTP server that starts up and listens on port 8089 but I don't want the, the, the result from a web server because here's the problem if I try and read if I were to say hey let's go um, and read the value from the web server you know if, if I get my my original page from this web server I can't call this web server um, you know with my JavaScript or anything because I'm gonna get a chorus problem and that uh, is the cross domain problem you know that that's a huge problem uh, you know this page simply isn't gonna allow me to talk um, to do two different web servers from the same page so um, what I did in the end is I um, created, oh, and, and here's the class, of course. Um, this is the actual class that does the talking. I took this from a sample. You can see it's comsun JNA. Um, and uh, here I saying, you, you know, I'm going to use a user32 DLL, and I'm going to use the send input and translate message. Those kind of uh, um, uh, um, um, functions I'm going to use from this uh, specific uh, DLL, and then um, you know, and here's the actual you know how how it's written out or typed into the keyboard buffer as if it was a keyboard. This is available; it's pretty standard. Um, so um, the idea then is this uh, HTTP server gets a request but it can't get a normal request it cannot get a uh, hey give me the value request so that's where um, you know, the hack of a day was um, I had to do this I am actually only reading an image uh, source from this um, local uh, web server so I'm not actually um, uh, um, from the web app I'm not actually calling this web server I'm just loading an image but that's enough for me to uh, uh, trigger this guy to go to the hardware and because depending on which image I tell it I I know you know I can say image hardware one and that will tell this web server okay he wants an image but he doesn't really want the image he wants to get the value from hardware one um, so I, then I'll go to hardware one I'll get the text value and then I'll type it into the web app in theory it sounds very easy and practice though um, you know um, it sounds um, so it's only three classes that needs to be compiled then and I'm just gonna run this quickly then and see um, so there's my little web server starting up so um, I'm then gonna take this little file test.html and I'm gonna serve it or, or you know I could have served it from another server so uh, this little guy I'm gonna say I'm just gonna open it there with Google Chrome there it is and there is the actual type message meaning what happened in this case is I uh, loaded this HTML page this HTML page so um, if we were to walk through the, the steps I loaded the HTML page the HTML page went to look for an image from my local server my local server said oh you wanted to talk to hardware one it will go to hardware one get the value and then use the send keys or, or um, a, a function and it's actually going to type it for me into my web app 
and that's what you see there so um, if I uh, go to this page again you'll see that um, there's a I have a sleep in there and um, there it is it actually read it from a hardware and then it typed it in for me so the net result is this web page is really uh, very basic this web page doesn't have much on it at all uh, you know it, it really is just five lines and there's no heavy um, active X or no uh, heavy um, uh, um, you know applet or anything like that it's just an image and that image um, triggers it to in this case go to pin and uh, pin then that triggers uh, um, uh, my, my little web server will go oh pin you want to talk to hardware piece number one it will go read the value turn it into a text value then use uh, this um, user32.dll to type it for me into my website so uh, again the, the, the net result of that looks something similar to um, looks something similar to this so um, and uh, there it is it fetched the, the, the string and it's typing it so uh, more for documentation or just for hacking purposes just so uh, you know just messing around thank you